Hi, this is Randy from Friday's Golf, and welcome to my channel. Now, for those of you that have been here before, this is nothing new for you, but there are a few of you out there that maybe have never been to my channel before. This is it. But yeah, that's it. Now, in today's video, I want to give you a brief update on what's going on currently with the channel and what you can expect in the future. Now, as of recently, we've fairly consistently uploaded videos, which is bizarre. I realize that that doesn't happen very often, but you know, we've, we've aimed for every Saturday. I uh, can't hit every single one of those, obviously, just because life gets in the way of that, but fairly consistently have uploaded every Saturday. I kind of like that uh, schedule. I like that pattern and it's something that gives me uh, some drive and something to look forward to and something to make and create every single week. And I'm excited about that. That being said, we are amidst a season change where I live, meaning the days are getting shorter and progressively colder. Which means we are less and less likely to film content outside. Now, we do have a couple of nice weeks left, and I'm going to take full advantage of those, milking them for everything that they are worth, and I'm gonna create as many videos as I can with my dad out at Beverly Hills Golf Course until I can't. Yes! But I have a plan. And that is to shift focus from the course vlogs, the maintenance videos, the Beverly Hills content to golf shop episodes and music videos and whatever quirky stuff rolls through my head throughout these winter months. But I liked the, the weekly dose of creativity of like creating something. And I don't want to lose that when this abysmal weather rolls through. <laughs> So even though it might not come as rapidly as it has over the past few months because scripting this stuff and planning it out and getting people to help, it's more time consuming. But please know that I really do want to keep making stuff and, and get back into to some of the older content and the, the funny videos that we, we used to post pretty regularly. So y'all know there's only one rule to Golf Shop Fight Club, and that's if it's your first night. You gotta fight. I just forgot my keys. And that perfectly transitions me into the next portion of this video where some of you might have noticed over the past couple of weeks that you have seen some shorts posted on this channel. Oh. Oh, oh no! Oh no! Come on! Yes! Finally! I'll be honest with you, I was not on board with at the beginning of the introduction of shorts, but the way YouTube has listened and transformed what shorts are, which is part of the beauty of YouTube, is they really listen to the creators on their platform, which is something that I really, really appreciate. So now it's not so much about like TikToking. It's like using these shorts to introduce people with these snapshots of fried eggs golf and bringing them into the channel and letting them kind of discover it in a, a little bit more organic way where I'm not just like cramming it down their throats. They're kind of, uh, introduced to some stuff that's been on the channel in the past and they can actually come to the channel and watch those full-length videos so uh, yes there are shorts on the channel now um, they are not the focus of this channel channel and never will be you will never see me doing trendy dances or anything like that you have my word in fact if i do just unsubscribe because i'm no longer me i'm a robot Callaway transforming this driver game like they make a draw. Keep in mind that this is an easy way for me to bring people that are already on the platform to Fried Eggs Golf to help grow this channel. Now, the reason that's important for me is not because I'm trying to be popular or become wealthy. It's because it allows me and it gives me the ability to create more content and more videos and spend more time being creative because the more and more traction that this channel gets, the more and more I can validate putting time into it. In this last portion of the update, I want to address that little tab right there. 
that is a store tab. And if you click on it, it will take you to some Friday's Golf merchandise. Now, a lot of you over the last year have asked me where you can purchase Friday's Golf shirts, uh, Beverly Hills shirts that you see us wearing on the channel. And in the past, I had directed you to my website. And in the future, I will also do that as soon as I figure out how the internet works. But right now, that store tab will allow you to buy Friday's Golf shirts. You can click on it and you can kind of scan our merchandise that we have on the shop right now. I will say though that if you enter the store through my YouTube page, you'll notice that when you click on one of these shirts, um, it's a broken link. I have no idea why that is or what to do about it because once again, I don't really know how the internet works, but it works on mobile for some reason. But if you click on that go to homepage button there, it will redirect you to my store where you can shop it like a regular website. Sorry about this, I just, this is not what I do. Feel free to check it out. I ordered these directly off the website. I will say that the t-shirts, uh, especially like the classic ones, the ones that are the cheapest, um, they're, they feel like a cheap t-shirt. I mean, the quality is okay, but it's a little stiff. If you want something a little softer, something, uh, you know, a little bit premium, uh, there's other options on there. You can find something that's a little nicer. So whether it's the fried hoodie I had on earlier or a Beverly Hills cutoff or my personal favorite, this gosh dang it shirt that one of you suggested I make, I absolutely love wearing this shirt out into the public. People are confused. Check out the shorts, check out the shop. Have you seen this Beverly Hills bucket hat right here? I am 100% getting that. It just, it doesn't make much sense during the winter, but next summer, definitely rocking that thing. Now, before we wrap up the video, I do want to let you know that a lot of you have asked me about the new tea boxes that we planted, and I have purposely held off doing an update on those uh, just to see how far along we can get that grass growth. We do have grass. I just want to, I want it looking good when we do the next update uh, coming soon. We will do that before the winter breaks, and you will see us probably hit off the new tea boxes. That wraps up the video. Thanks as always for watching. Please check out the shop, thumbs up the video, subscribe to the channel, and until next time, I will see you later. Checking color, checking color.